We have had a ton of requests lately, guys, to talk us through your screen layouts. A lot of people getting into the market for the first time want to understand what is important to have on the screen in front of you and what we can maybe put on another monitor to the side that's not necessarily as important. So for all those people who are asking to see Neil and Sean's screen layouts, here we go. Yeah, so let's start it off. And I won't, you know, we'll try to do this as, as, as uh, quickly and easily as possible while getting all the information out there. Like everything starts with your charts. You know, my main primary charts for executing is a three minute chart. So I'm always gonna have a three minute chart up. Um, and then I use like, I'll use like a Windows any desk or uh, multiple desktops so that I have a couple of things off to my side. So my main screen here, you'll see my three minute chart up. Uh, and then from there, I'll always be able to slide over and have a level two that I show you guys. Uh, and then I'll have a daily chart and a 15 minute chart that I'm able to show you guys trade with. But if you look at the up top, the other stocks that I'm monitoring, it's like bang, 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 bang. Like my top four stocks that I'm trading, I've got all my, I've got all my three minute charts up for that as well. I'm always watching the futures on the other end. I have, I have all the level twos of the names that I'm mostly focused on so that I don't have to execute on a single screen. If I'm trading five or six things, I'm not executing on a single screen. I'm executing in multiple, uh, multiple windows. And that's why you'll see me kind of do this as I'm talking to the camera often. Uh, the other thing that I think is absolutely important, um, I do have alerts set up. I've got my alerts right here for when stocks hit certain prices. If I'm tracking an alternative index, I always want to have that one up on, you know, either up to my uh, to the left or, or sorry, to the right or up in front of me, whether it's a VIX, if I'm tracking oil, I'll have that off of my main screen so I can just give a quick glance, okay, I'm in Chevron, uh, what is oil doing at this particular thing? And the last thing I have, which I don't always look at, it's just on one of my other desktops, and I will show it to you, is I have a quote, quote board up. So every stock that's on my list, I always have this page, uh, which is like my focus too, if we can bring that up right now. Uh, and then I've got what's in play today, and this is the entire list of stocks uh, that I'm watching. I always have like a shorter list. I have like what it's called like a hot list. Um, I have a few that are just like energy, futures, financials uh, as well, uh, healthcare. Uh, so sometimes I'll put like upgrades, downgrades, just all these little lists. So if I wanna very quickly go to a single group, I can do that uh, on this one page. So it's about having everything at your fingertips very close and neatly tight so that you know exactly where your eyeballs need to track at a given moment. And I'm not fumbling for, oh my goodness, uh, where is my futures chart, my NASDAQ chart? Oh, I gotta go bring it up. No, it's already there for me uh, in exactly the right spot. All right, yeah, I mean, I don't have uh, too much to add to that other than what my setup looks like, and it's very, very similar uh, to Neil's. So the only difference I have is I basically just have one main screen, which is right here that I try to share with the show, but, over here as well, because I look at a lot of NASDAQ names, you know, for example, I have AMD here, Tesla, Facebook, Apple, things like that, as well as my main screen. And then up top here, I don't know if you guys can, uh, can grab this or not, uh, but there it is, yeah. So again, more hot lists here. So like what Neil was talking about so that I'm able to see what's happening. Um, and then again, more time frame charts, including a daily chart. But if I go over to look at my number one setup here, and that's gonna be my screen that we can show you right now, I, do, I, I, I call it basically trading blind, okay? And that is, is that when you don't have the NASDAQ in front of you, and I, and I know Neil said oil as well, which I also have down here, um, you know, that's, you, you gotta be able to look and say, what is a possible leading indicator? So I don't go anywhere without a NASDAQ chart here, and it's only a one minute chart. The reason why it's right here is because I wanna see what kind of momentum, like if, and I can blow it up so easily like that, what kind of momentum are we playing with here? How dramatic of a move is this? When I'm in a name like Facebook or Apple or a anything that's related to NASDAQ, I wanna be able to see these little movements here uh, in these candles, right? So I wanna have a one minute chart to say, oh, what was that all about? And then quickly catch my eye and say, is it stock related or is the market just ripping here or, or tanking in this example? So that's sort of the chart setup that I have. And then hidden behind this, I have a one minute, a one day, and then a 20 minute. The 20 minute gives me a little more view here on a few days. I like to look at the past week, maybe you know five to seven days or so worth of data just to try to find some highs here, you know, like supports and, and resistant levels. So that's what I look at. And then this big screen here, if you are a day trader and you're working at a prop firm or you're just like, hey, you know what? What do you have on your level two? Well, this screen is called a level two. And what I have written, 
up on here is basically stuff that I consider to be pretty important. First of all, the volume. And you can see, it, I know it's gonna be a little hard to see, but we have a volume indicator there. So I wanna know, is the stock that I'm looking at doing higher? you know, or lower average daily volume? Is it in play today? We also have the high and the low of the day marked off here as well. And then into here, this is the market maker that I'm looking at. That's not super important other than the fact that I like, just like to see sort of, you know, I, I mean, they're not market makers, I guess. They're gateways here. So which electronic gateways are sort of trading this stock? And sometimes you'll see bigger size on a NASDAQ versus an ARCA. So you can sort of see maybe which, you know, which gateway is controlling the flow. Um, and then I like to see the size on here as well. So for me, that's the most important. Sometimes you'll flip it around. Like if I go over to maybe a stock, uh, what, you know, let's check Target today. They might have some size in it. So we'll go over to Target and look. And of course I go over here and I don't see much, but just looking for supply and demand. And you're gonna see that in the size column, right? So th those are the things that I look at. Um, definitely the NASDAQ chart down here is my number one sort of tip. Always make sure you're looking at the index of the stock to which you're trading. All right, uh, quickly, I unfortunately don't have the rear view that the guys have over at their desk, but I can give you a quick uh, look at what you see on the show from time to time as far as the news uh, reader or news uh, platform that I use, which is uh, Refinitiv Icon, uh, which is this screen right here. And there's very brief description. Uh, this is just a summary window, so I can type in any stock whatsoever and get a breakdown of not only the financials, but a little brief on what the company actually does. Market caps here, float is here, short interest is here, depending on uh, what you are looking at. Uh, this window, they have, uh, Icon has a ton of uh, filters that you can use. This is just very, very basic stock market news. So anything major, uh, you see there's like White House headlines coming through here. Anything major will pop up in this. Uh, down here, this is called major news. So this is going to be global affairs. So not necessarily stock related. So any kind of global news that, that could, in fact, move the market would pop up in here. Uh, this is a more stock focused news filter. This one over here is just a search window where I can put anything and everything in. Major headlines on here. I have the uh, S&P 500 just on a, uh, on a uh, uh, scanner here that I can look at what is leading and why. Uh, and then I have, honestly, guys, there's three other windows here. And then I use three sets of virtual windows. So nine screens total to do what you see on the show. So that's just a brief description. I mean, I use one specifically for trade ideas. And then you also see the platform that the guys uh, talked to you through there, uh, P Pro 8, that we use to trade on. So it's a lot of information. The key here, and one point I wanted to wrap up on is, there's no wrong answer. You gotta do what works for you. Try as many different things as you possibly can, and then narrow it down to the bare minimum because you don't wanna see too much information, guys. That is a look at our screen setup.